Hi everyone, Curtis Judd here. I'm doing a follow-up review on the Audio-Technica ATR 3350 lavalier microphone, which I'm wearing right now, and all this, uh, this little episode here is all recorded through that microphone. Um, found some things out since the last review that I wanted to add and had a much better experience with it. And um, I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a few minutes. First of all, talking about some of the benefits of this microphone. Obviously, first of all, is the price. You can find it on Amazon.com for between 20 and 25 US dollars. Um, also available in lots of other places online. So obviously, price is, is one of the big ones. Number two, you can get it up close to your talent. It's going to be much better than your camera's microphone because unless you're working with a very wide-angle lens right up on top of your talent, um, that in-camera microphone just isn't going to do as well as this something like this can do. Um, I also, in this particular case, am recording in through the Zoom H1. So the microphone is plugged into the Zoom. And uh, in those cases, you can actually almost use it as a wireless lavalier microphone system. So um, obviously, you have to sync it when you're producing your, your video at the end in post-production, um, but that's pretty easy to do, not a big deal. And then fourth, it also has long enough cables between 15 and 20 feet. You could plug it directly into your camera if your camera has an input, so that's another option for you. So lots of, uh, lots of uh, definite benefits here. The sound quality, as you can hear here, is not bad. It's not probably what you would find on uh, top tier productions, uh, professional productions, but it is really pretty good. And uh, so that's definitely uh, makes this a worthwhile investment. Very inexpensive to get much better sound for your, for your video. One major gotcha. This uh, microphone uses a little battery pack. And uh, this battery is an LR44, I believe it is. It's like a watch battery. It's a relatively small one. It comes with one, and that's what I did my original review one, a review with was the original battery, and I found that there was a bit of distortion, and uh, it was kind of an annoying sound to be honest. Uh, it finally occurred to me to actually replace the battery and see if that made any difference, and in fact it has. It reduced a lot of that noise and that distortion, um, and it sounds quite a bit better now, and now I understand why some of the other reviewers were giving it pretty high marks. So um, it's not an all or nothing kind of thing. In other words, if the battery's running down, it's not necessarily going to cut the microphone off right away. So you need to kind of keep an eye on that. So that is one gotcha with this microphone. But if you do put a fresh battery in again, great sound. One other thing I do find, I still need to um, equalize the sound a little bit to get a little bit closer to the, the actual sound that I was hoping for. And uh, I just do that really quickly by notching down four to six decibels in the 1K range. Um, a lot of different programs can do that. Uh, a lot of times your video editor will do that, but if not, you can always take it in before you sync the audio with your video into any of the digital audio workstation applications out there. A great one that I use is Reaper. It is uh, relatively inexpensive. There's another microphone in this price range that looks pretty interesting that I'll probably be reviewing in the next few weeks here if I can get my hands on one, and that is uh, the Omni Lavalier mic from Giant Squid Audio and uh, it plugs again directly into recorders like the Zoom H1. And uh, if the audio samples on the website are to be believed, I think it actually has better sound than this Audio-Technica as well. So again, check back in and we'll, we'll uh, do a quick review on that for you. Thanks again for checking it out.